This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Hey guys, welcome back to another Nexus Core video. My name is Richard, and today I'm going to be showing you if Agravan can even be playable in standard anymore. So I decided to take uh, the new, basically I want to call it the Percival support from uh, VBT12 to kind of update Agravan and see, you know, they can give it the push it needs to make it like a little fun tier 3 deck that you can play with friends. So getting right into it, starter, uh, basically anything you want it to be, but kept it as Spring Breeze Messenger because, you know, it was kind of the, the starter that came with the Aggravain deck, so I want to kind of keep it that way. So, but yeah, Spring Breeze Messenger is staying on board. All right, so starting up, four copies of the boy himself, Knight of Fury Aggravain. So Aggravain's skill is when you attack with it on the Vanguard Circle, you counterblast one, suck up all of your regards into its soul, and then based on how many cards you call to that turn, you look at the top number of cards of your deck equal to the number you called that turn, and call up to as many of them as possible, and the rest get shuffled back into your deck. So this is where the deck kind of faltered to begin with, where it needed you to call things based on how many things you called at the turn you played it and none of the things got power so you're reliant on triggers so it had the typical excel deck problem in the in the past where it made a board but the minute your opponent got a damage trigger you were just shut down for the turn so hence why the deck didn't perform that well in the past so the skill which almost never goes off is Act, Vanguard Circle, Soul Blast, 12. Uh, until the end of this fight, your opponent can only call normal units. So it prevents them from using Sentinels um, that are like trigger Sentinels and also just the big trigger shields in general, so making it harder for them to guard. So the goal of this deck is I'm trying to at least get to the Soul Blast 12 a lot faster. That way I can, you know, beat my opponent down with big attacks front triggers for games and then your opponent can only guard with so much from their hand because they can't use the triggers anymore. Um, not likely it's going to happen and this is nowhere near as aggressive or as strong as Gurgit will ever be or ever is in general. So do with it as you will. But we will try and make do with, with the Aggravain deck. Alright. Next up is four copies of the best card in this whole deck. It is Bluish Flame Liberator Percival. So, Percival's skill is then all of your units in your Excel markers get an additional 5k. The other skill is Van or Rear when it's placed. If your Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, count plus 1, discard a card from your hand. You get an imaginary gift Excel, and then you can search your deck or drop zone for an Aglavale, call it to Rear, and if you Search your deck, you shuffle, and you can only use the ability of Percival once per turn. So if you do it once, like doesn't matter if you call it a new copy, you're done. So that being said, being able to get an additional Excel marker, so an additional draw, get out Aglavale from basically your deck or your drop so you can recycle it. And Aglavale's skill is going to help you fill up that soul and Basically, it helps you call an additional unit, so it helps proc off Aggravain. So, Percival is definitely just a really overall good staple for Gold Paladin, which is what I love about it. So, let's move on to the rest of the Grade Threes, so we know what else we're working with. Uh, next up, two copies of Knight of Flying Rings, Edmund. So, Edmund has a similar skill to Aglavale, but we'll get into that in a sec. First skill is Guardian Circle when it's placed. If your Vanguard is grade 3, uh, this gets 10k shield. So this works as a good 10k, you know, defense. Uh, I can see how this was designed for Gurgit, but, you know, there's way better grade 3s you want to be running in Gurgit, but for budget builds, this is great. Uh, the other skill is Rear Guard Circle. When it attacks, you put a Rear Guard uh, into your soul, and this gets 10k, and at the end of that battle, this bounces back into your hand. So this is obviously for filling up the soul for Aggravain's skill to boost that up, getting cards back in your hand to either guard with or call it for the next turn. It works either way. So Edmund works really well, I would say, just because if you call it through Aggravain's skill, 
Um, sucking up an additional rear guard just to gain that 10k will help, you know, counter out that measure. If your opponent gets a damage trigger, maybe you can still swing and hit something. Even then, just getting additional power and shield and filling your soul helps, helps the deck overall. So just two copies of those, because we still need Sagramore. So even though Sagamore does use a Soul Blast, it's still really helpful for filling the board. So Sagamore is Van or Rear when placed. Soul Blast 1, draw a card, then call a card from your hand. Super basic, super helpful, just always been a great card. Love Sagamore. Um, only running two copies because of space, and also just because you don't want to be Soul Blasting too much. That's not really the point I wanted to go with this deck. I really wanted to keep the Soul concentrated and filling up the Soul Blast. 12 and you know it doesn't proc when it's called from the deck so i'd rather put in grade threes that can work when they're being called from the top x amount of cards so we're going with two sagamore so that's it for grade threes uh next up grade twos i'm only running two copies of agavale and i'll get into that in a second um so going with the skill it's vanguard circle one ridden Cannon Blast 1, look at 3 cards in the top of your deck, call 1, the rest go to the bottom, so you don't shuffle. The other skill is Rear Guard Circle, when it attacks, uh, you suck a Rear Guard into the soul, it gets 10k, and at the end of the battle it bounces back to your hand. 2 copies is just because it doesn't call things for them on the rear when you place it on the Rear Guard Circle, so that doesn't help Aggravane at all. Because you need to call cards to basically maximize Aggravane's skill, because... The more cards you call during the turn, the more rear guards you can suck into the soul and call from the top of your deck. So calling this normally uh, doesn't do anything. So you want we need more grade twos that call things, so that way you can make up for you know the power. Also, since you're going to be sucking up other rear guards with Aggravain's skill anyways, um, calling this and using and swinging with it before Aggravain's skill and bouncing it back you lose a unit you're going to suck into your soul. So um, I'd rather be able to use it and call it through Percival skill and recycling uh, from the job zone after, you know, maybe soul blasting it for cost or, you know, guarding with it and then calling from the job zone. So it's really just there to help suck up things in the soul when it's called from the deck and also just as a call target with Percival skill. So the two copies works just fine for this. Uh, next up, uh, instead of doing four Aglaville, I'm doing two copies of Paramore. So Paramore's first skill is Van or Rear, Counter Blast 1, once per turn, call a grade 2 or less from your hand, then draw a card. So this is exclusively just to help with Aggravane fulfilling the board. Uh, the other skill is when it's placed by a card ability, it gets 5k power or 5k shield. So it's mostly going to be there for the 5k power when you call it, you know, through Aggravane or through Scrat or through whatever it means. So, the main thing is that we are running cards like Dindrain and um, what else procs off, you know, card abilities. Or even, you know, Gorbaduck if you just want to get that extra 5k. Calling, I don't know, just, just procking it off just so you can get that draw. But mostly it's there for Dindrain just so you can get the counter charge and get the draw. Uh, you know, it helps you so you don't lose resources just by calling things in your hand to fill the board and to fill up the number of calls for the turn for Aggravane. So I'd rather go with Paramore than additional Aglavales because you're already sucking things into Soul with Aggravane. Edmund does a good job doing that too. So I want more grade twos that call things and don't use up the soul. So in the past I've used Vivian, but Vivian uses soul. So this is basically doing the same thing. All right. Next up, it is an Aggravane deck, so we're still going to run four copies of Liberator of the Flute Escrad. This is pretty cool, like we, <laughs> this is unintentionally also a Liberator deck because we got more Liberators coming back. Um, so a Scrad skill is Van or Rear. When it's placed, if your Vanguard is Knight of Fury, Aggravane, or Liberator of the Flute Escrad, which is really dumb in my personal opinion for cost, uh, look at the top card of your deck, call it. Then you can Cannon Blast 1 and this gets 5k. So the Cannon Blast is optional. Um, but it's mostly just to go plop, call the top card, free call, you know, easy. No Soul Blast is required or anything. You don't have to worry about that. So um, the only 
negative thing about this is if you ride another grade three like Percival, a Scrat is a vanilla, but we do have cards like Gorbaduck to help search out grade threes. So hopefully that doesn't, you know, you're not stuck on Percival for the rest of the game. So a Scrat should work fine. Um, four copies because it fills the board for free and it works when it's called from the deck. So we gotta, we're gonna roll with the, the Scrads. Lastly, three copies of hard of Knight of Hard Work, Eleanor. So the reason I'm keeping Eleanor instead of maximizing Algo Veil, since they're kind of the same thing, is because Eleanor puts itself into the soul rather than putting something else and then bouncing the hand, which means this still, you can do it either way when it's called from the deck through Agravain or when you call it uh, before Agravain attacks. The same thing is gonna happen either way. You're still filling the soul in the same manner. This is gonna get the power regardless, so. With Aglavale, you lose a unit to suck in the soul. With Eleanor, you keep that additional unit and you're still, you know, getting the power, maximizing it. So it's skill, I should probably read that, is when it attacks, when it's on the rearguard circle, you perform the effects based on the number of things you called. If you called two or more, it gets 5k. If you called four or more, it gets an additional 10k, so 15k total. And then uh, you can, if you do give it the 10k, you put it into the soul at the end of its battle. So Eleanor is a big beat stick, helps for the soul for Aggravain. I just want to keep it in the deck because it makes the most sense and it's free for the most part because of the number of things you're going to be calling. So Eleanor is a good card. So that was it for grade twos. On to grade ones. Uh, four copies of Gorbaduck. This one is just a given because grade three searching and it works on Van or Rear Circle. So ideal right target. Its skill is during your turn, van or rear, if you call two or more rear guards uh, the turn, it gets 5k. Other skill is, you know, the grade three search. When it's placed from your hand, you look at five cards, look for a grade three, add it to your hand. Uh, if you do add a grade three to your hand, you discard a card. So, easy peasy. Four copies because you want to search out Aggravain and make sure you write it. Next up. Uh, only three copies of Knight of Vitality, Branius. Uh, it's a unit that sucks itself into the soul, so more soul charging. Its skill is when your grade three or greater vanguard is placed, move this to soul, draw a card, then call a card from your hand to rear. So this can help proc Dindrain. It procs off Paramore if you want that extra 5k. Um, so, and it also just gives you more soul. Um, the only issue is that sometimes, of course, you're going to ride grade 3 and just be stuck on that Aggravain, but hopefully, with the help of Gorbaduck and adding grade 3s to your hand, you might add another Aggravain. So if you call this during the battle phase, the next turn, if this is still on your board, ride another Aggravain, move this to soul. It's really filling up that soul as fast as you can. So, uh, there really wasn't a lot of other grade or grade 1 options that I wanted to work with. Maybe Jeffrey, but Jeffrey wasn't really helpful other than searching out Paramore. So I still think that Branius is going to be the best bet for this deck, just for filling up the soul and being an 8k base. Lastly, we got three copies of Listener of Tooth Jane. So ideally, you'd want to run four. Um, my only big fear, especially with this deck, is that using up the soul blast a lot. You hopefully don't have to counter charge that often because the only cards that really counter blast in this deck are Percival, Paramore, and Aggravain. Maybe Aglaville if you had if you wrote it. Um, so counter charging at least maybe once or twice during the game is pretty much all you need to do. So you don't have to worry too much about that. And then you have a lot of ways to proc it. So if you, this is in your hand, you're most likely going to get it off during the game some way, shape, or form. So three copies seems to be the right amount for this deck. So the skill of Dindrain, if you already know, is when it's placed by your card's ability, Soul Blast 1, you can either draw a card or you can counter charge. And if you counter charge, you get 3k. So yeah, Dindrain's always been a good card. So I was it for grade 1s. Really quickly going over the trigger units. It's Aggravain, so we need fronts. So this is a straight to the point, eight front deck. Um, Aggravain has no power on its own, so crits are useless, really. Crits are really there if you just want to spice it up. Maybe you want to throw in two or three just to kind of fake your opponent out. And they're like, what? Crits in an Aggravain deck? What's going on? And then, you know. But yeah, so basically my problem with not using fronts when you drive check them is that 
your whole front row that you just made out of aggravating skill, nothing got power, so you need a way to adjust for that, you know, aggression that you're trying to push with. So fronts are the only way you can really work with it. So eight fronts. Um, you need sentinels. So draws are better than crits when it comes to sentinels, in my opinion. Uh, so you want the draw PGs. The sentinel triggers the Scarface line is a funny idea just because it saves you in hand and it is a crit. So you can just drive check and be like, oh, look, a crit. But this hand does suffer a lot with draw power. Like you do not have a really good way or resource to draw cards consecutively or kind of mitigate and trigger thin the way that Gurgit does. So you really want the draw triggers. So draw PGs are definitely the way to go. And last but not least, of course, we got the uh, four heal triggers Sue. That's basically the deck. So um, the main thing that you really want to focus on is making sure that you ride on Aggravane. Your call targets are basically going to be anything that is not a trigger. And most of these are really good. Edmund, great one called because everything that you, maybe if you do want to call that trigger just to suck something in for the power, you can. Um, Percival is great because it works when you call it through Aggravane. So you know, it's not just one place from hand, it's just one place. So if you call it through Aggravain Skill, you get an additional marker. You call Aglavale to that marker. You suck Percival up into the soul with Aglavale at the end of the turn, bounce back to your hand. So Percival and Aglavale just really, really help the deck a lot. And I'm hoping to maybe play through this deck at one point with the rest of the gang at some point. But with how chaotic everything is in this world, you never know. So that's it for this deck profile. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there's any other variant of like Gold Paladin that you want to see, I pretty much have it. So stay tuned, ask away, and I'll be sure to help you guys with whatever, con whatever Gold Paladin related content you want to see in the future. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.